Hey everyone, here's a question from exercise 3.5, fifth question. The chapter is playing with numbers of classics. The question is, write the smallest five-digit number and express it in the form of its prime factor. So first, we're going to find out what is the smallest five-digit number and then we're going to express it in, um, in terms of prime factor. So what is the smallest five-digit number? The smallest five-digit number is 10,000. Yes, so we're going to express uh, the 10,000 into a terms of prime factors. So smallest five-digit number is equal to 10,000. Now, there are many ways of expressing, like there are many ways of writing the given number in terms of prime factor. Like you can use a factor tree method or you can use a prime factorization method, anything. So here in today, like in the for this question, I'm going to express in terms of prime factorization, where you have to only take a prime factor, like prime numbers and divide 10,000. Remember, you should take only prime numbers and it's better to start with the smallest prime number, which is 2. So 10,000 we have here. So I'm going to write um, 10,000 here and we have to draw a vertical and horizontal line like this and write down the number inside. Now, uh, like I said before, I'm going to start with 2 and since it's an even number, I can able to divide this with number 2. So when I take here 2, when I divide this with 2, I'll get here 5000. In case you don't know, like uh, like if you divide 10,000, you get 5000. If you know, you can just proceed further. If you don't know, you can divide 10,000 by 2. That's like how you do a normal division like that and you can write down the answer. And if in case you know how to do the cancellation, now you can proceed further. So 2 5 is 10, I'll get 5 here. And the remaining zeros are there, I'm going to write down. The so 3 zeros will going to come in the next step. So that's a 5000. Now 5000 is an even number. Like the, if you might have learned that any number which ends with 0, 2, 4, 8, 0, like 2, 4, 8, 0, then those numbers goes in two tables. So 5000 goes in two tables. So I'm going to divide 5000 by 2. So again, you can do a normal division here or you can do the cancellation. Like you can do it here itself and you can do it. So we know 2, 2 is 4. So I'll get 2 here. And 5 minus 4 is 1, right? So I'm going to write down that 1 along with this 0. And that makes the number 10. So 2, 5 is a 10. For this 10, I'm going to write down here 5. And then 2 zeros are left. So write down the 2 zeros in the next step. Now again the number ends with 0 so this goes in 2 table again. So I'm going to go, uh, write down 2 again, again I'm going to divide this with 2. Okay so here so you can see here like if I divide 5000 by 2 I'll get 2500 you can do in this uh, you can do it like this or do the uh, way I have done it's completely on you. Now for 2500 2 ones are 2 2 twos are 4 1 I'll get here as a remainder. So that combines with 0, I'll get 10. So 2 fives are 10 and then 0 down. Again, it number ends with 0. So uh, it's a, it goes in 2 table. So 2 6 are 12. 5 we have. So 2 2s are 4. 1 is left out. Write it along with 0. So 10. So 2 fives are 10. Now 6 25 we have. Now 6 25, like we have to check for the next prime number. So next prime number is, uh, you can check in 3. So it doesn't go in 3, so I'm going to take the next prime number which is 5. So 5 ones are 5, 1 is left, write down along with 2, so it's 12. So 5 twos are 10, 2 is left, uh, so write down the 2 along with 5, it's a 25. So 5 5 is a 25. So we got 125, I'm going to do this on other side. Here we have 125. So 125 doesn't go in 2 or 3 table. Next prime number is 5. So again I am going to take 5 here. So 5 2s are 10. 12. Like 12. If I will take 5 2s are 10. 2 is a remainder. And again 25 we got. So 5 5 is a 25. 25 goes in 5 table again. So 5 5 is a 25. And then 5 1s are 5. Now, uh, now we got all the prime numbers right. So 10,000 can be expressed in the form of a prime factors. So all the prime numbers which we got here, we can write down in terms like we can have to just multiply and that will be equal to 10,000. So we, this will be equal to 10,000 is equal to take all these prime numbers which we got in doing this prime factorization. So it, it is 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 
into 5 into 5 into 5 into 5. We got 4 2s and 4 5s here. When you multiply, you will get 10,000. So this is how we can able to express 10,000 in terms of prime factor. I hope this question is clear. In case you have any other question or doubt, you can drop a comment. Thank you so much for watching.